live at lunch technician training. This uh, part will cover setup of two songwriters, singer-songwriters today. So as you get more advanced, you'll find that uh, it's the same process multiplied by five, six, seven different members. Today we're going to focus on one singer-songwriter and then duplicate that for the second person who's accompanying this artist. So here's the green studio. We are going to set up two chairs. We don't know if the artists prefer to stand or sit, we'll ask, but we'll, we'll set it up for sitting. And the uh, mics that we'll use are, is this configuration here. So we will have two SM58 vocal mics, a standard uh, vocal mic with a, a nice pattern. We will mic the two guitars in a fashion like this on mic stands, put them about 90 degrees plus a little bit, so about 100 degrees separation like that. Pointed this way at the guitar, pointed right at where the neck meets the body. That's probably the ideal place to mic these. These are SM81 Shure condenser mics. Uh, in that configuration then, one will pick up more of the body spruce sound, the other one will pick up more of the fret noise, higher end fretboard uh, sound, and mixed together they sound ideal. You want to avoid this one shooting into the sound hole because you do have a lot of air movement out of the sound hole of the guitar. So just shy of the sound hole. And about like this, they can be in a configuration like that, 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 anything close to that. It's not really, really too uh, uh, critical. A couple of things on these 81s is that you do have a couple of switches to just double check and oops sorry and one being the uh, response here there's a cutoff uh, uh, knob here that you know it'll it'll cut off the attenuation when it hits a certain place but you just want that to be a flat response uh, the same here you want this slide lever to be at a zero the other choice is at 10 uh, that is uh, let's see that's the attenuation so you want zero attenuation the other one is a roll off, so it'll roll off at the higher higher volume. So just double check, just double check that uh, the mics are set that way. Rarely, just when they get handled, they get twisted a little bit. The uh, second mic set we'll use are these Rhodes. They're not marked. Uh, they don't have any any marking on them, but they act nearly identical to the uh, Shure 81s. We'll have these in a, in a similar configuration of about little over 90 degree uh, configuration like that. Same thing pointed at where the neck meets the body of the guitar. And about six to eight inches away from the, from the neck to give the artist enough room to play but still get a lot of sound developing. Then, uh, so that, that'll mic it, that gives it a nice warm sound. But then in addition to that, I like to add uh, this LR Bags uh, preamp it's an acoustic DI direct input. So we'll plug this into our snake and then the uh, artist will plug his quarter inch uh, internal pickup into this. These settings, uh, since we'll be controlling all of the sound mix through the soundboard, just set them at a mid-level, uh, kind of straight up for all of these. Uh, it's a good place to start volume, especially the volume. We'll control the volume from the, from the Mackie board in the back. Uh, it does have a battery here. Take that out. If that gets weak, you'll get a lot of scratchy noise in it, so I like to leave the battery out and supply 48 volt phantom power from the Mackie to this. So we only have one of those uh, LR bags. We do have uh, these, these standard Boss DIs, and you can use these for guitars. They take a little bit of a different setup, and I'm still experimenting with these, so here's what I've learned. So make sure your, your power is on auto, otherwise, uh, yeah, it, because we'll supply 48 volts to this DI as well, phantom power, so that will automatically sense it and power on. Now I think this for a guitar internal amp, this is where I'm still experimenting. Right now what I know is 
you don't want this attenuation of zero, you want it at a 20, minus 20 dB or maybe even over to the 40. So we'll check that out today to see what the right setting is for that. On this end, the uh, XLR cable into the, the uh, sound snake that goes back to the Mackie. These should be, I'm sorry, the light is so dim in here. Should be uh, set over to the left, normal or, yeah, just normal, normal. If you get a ground hum, which is unusual, just lift that ground with that that one there. So if you get a, yeah, just a mm, kind of a ground hum, turn that to lift. Okay, so that should get us set up. I'll go ahead and uh, set up the mic stand, show you the configuration of that. Another thing you may want to uh, be aware of with singer-songwriters, it's good to put these behind them just to kind of set off some of the acoustics so it doesn't bounce around the room as much. So we'll just set these up like this. It also keeps too much movement forwards and backwards of the uh, musician from going too far away from the mic. These tend to get wobbly. You may want to make sure you tighten them up on the spans sometimes. Okay. Vocal mic in the middle. These are 58s, SM 58s. They are a heavy mic, so they t if you don't torque these down, they tend to fall and droop too much. So you got to, once you get these set up, you'll, uh, you'll definitely want to torque those down. So again, the guitar player will be over here, the neck where it meets the body is over here. So. Loveland came over horse too, down on Mulberry Street, and take a left on college before you know it. All right, so now we have a setup here. Both positions are, you're going to want the, the singer something like this, adjust the microphone forward and backward. You're going to want these pointed off to the side. Probably a little lower, but we'll we'll wait and see what what the instruments look like. So this person always facing the host table over there. These are down here somewhere. Yeah. So we'll do a final adjustment when the uh, when the artists show up. So now we'll go on to cabling. The cabling is pretty straightforward. In the parking lot, get a little bit of coffee before you do the show. Going down there. Wild and free. All right, so what I'm going to do is cable the two vocal mics in a counterclockwise direction. This will be, I'll start with 14, 13, and then I'll do the instrument mics, and I'll do 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Gonna play that first song on KRFC. Yeah, yeah. 
Acoustic guitars? Yes, sir. Two acoustic Perfect. guitars. Sitting, standing, sitting. Uh, we'll be sitting. Okay. Sure. Oh yeah. Do we tape? No, this is yeah. gonna be live. We tape. It'll be live, but I'll record it. All right. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Awesome. It'll, it'll be broadcast live, but I'll give you a recording of the live recording. There you go, guys. Awesome. <laughs> you have the option of keeping them if you want. Okay. Yeah, that's what they're kind of about. You know. Oh, sweet man. Yeah. yeah. This is awesome. A long time ago. Glad to come through here each year and play one more song. I gotta know that this one's for free. You gotta do that first song, Dean. Play a little mandolin, sing so fine, and do the opener for Carrie. Get one more down the line. And I'll throw this one song out here for free. Just to get it started, you know, RFC. In the garden, in the springtime, when the seeds are down below, there are some plants that come early, they don't fit in any rows, they are anxious, they are ready. Okay, so as you can see, they're all mic'd up, got the DIs ready to be plugged in, uh, put a guitar stand over there just because that person's in the corner, they may need a guitar stand. Let's see over here. Uh, Clay's a linear guitar, so that's fine. Okay, so I think we're all set up, ready to go. And I'll now go in the back room. Just to show you as well, this is where the host sits, and the host will be... You want to face the uh, singer-songwriters towards the host. Oh, just one other thing. Here's the, uh, the snake down there. You can see how chaotic that can get, but I'll explain how those are all wired later. <laughs> 